Oh, hey, you surprised me. I was just looking through my telescope here. Have you ever looked through a telescope before? They're really cool. They let you see things that are really far away. Some of them can even see way out into deep, deep outer space. One telescope placed in space is called the Hubble Space Telescope. NASA launched Hubble into space in 1990, and ever since then, it's been circling the Earth, looking deep into space and sending back hundreds of thousands of beautiful pictures of stars and galaxies. Hubble has been a great help to scientists as they try to learn more and more about the universe. You might be wondering why Hubble was sent into space. Why can't they just use it on the ground like any other telescope? Well, the problem that's given astronomers trouble ever since the telescope was invented is Earth's atmosphere. Clouds and shifting air pockets in the atmosphere get in the way of our view of space. That's why stars seem to twinkle when you look at the night sky, even though they don't actually twinkle. So no matter how good a telescope is, if it's on the ground, our atmosphere always interferes, making it hard to see what is really out there in space. But Hubble orbits 568 kilometers above Earth, way above the atmosphere, so it gets the clearest view possible. Hubble has changed the way scientists look at the universe. It has shown us galaxies billions of trillions of kilometers away that were around when the universe was young. Because of Hubble, we now know that the universe is between 13 and 14 billion years old. That's pretty old. Even my grandmother's not that old. Besides just sending us pretty pictures, Hubble has helped us learn all sorts of strange and interesting things out in space. Things like how stars are born and what happens to them when they die. The Hubble telescope was named after the astronomer Dr. Edwin Hubble. Dr. Hubble was responsible for some of the most important discoveries ever made in the field of astronomy. Astronomy is the study of the universe. Way back in the 1920s, most astronomers thought that the galaxy we live in, the Milky Way, was the entire universe. But Dr. Hubble discovered that our galaxy is only one of the billions of galaxies that exist in the universe. And he discovered that the universe is expanding. The galaxies are all moving farther and farther away from each other all the time. Hey, wait, come back. Don't you like us? I guess I shouldn't worry. There's still plenty of galaxies out there close enough for us to see through the Hubble telescope. Even though this mighty telescope is the size of a school bus, all of the Hubble's functions are powered by solar energy. Hubble makes one orbit around Earth every 97 minutes, traveling at a speed of about eight kilometers per second. If you could travel that fast, you could travel all the way across the U.S. in about 10 minutes. Here's how the Hubble telescope actually works. It has a main mirror that's almost 2.4 meters across. This mirror collects a large amount of light, lots more than your eye can. The light bounces off this mirror onto a second, smaller mirror. From there, the light then goes to the telescope's science instruments, including several different kinds of cameras. Each one of these instruments looks at and measures the captured light in a different way, giving scientists a whole lot of special information about the objects Hubble sees. This information is sent to the Hubble team at the Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland. There, engineers send commands to Hubble to control where it is pointed and to make sure it is working right. The pictures and information from Hubble are then sent to the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, Maryland, where more scientists study them and then store them away on computer disks. The staff at the Space Telescope Science Institute decides which astronomers can use the telescope and when. Over its lifetime, the Hubble telescope has been repaired and improved several times. NASA plans to keep it up in orbit for several more years, serviced by spacewalking astronauts who fly to Hubble on the space shuttle. At some point, just like an old car or computer, the telescope will stop working and will be safely deorbited. NASA plans to follow Hubble with a new telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope, which is scheduled to launch in 2013. But even after Hubble stops working, scientists will be using and studying the pictures and information it has gathered for years and years to come. 
Scientists have already written many, many articles and stories about the things Hubble has taken pictures of, and they're going to keep on doing that for a long time. In the meantime, find yourself a telescope and take a look at the night sky. It's really fun. Wow, somebody out there's got some really big ears. <laughs>